Module 2, Lesson 1, Homework. Fill in the blanks using your knowledge of place value units and basic facts. 43 times 3. Think 43 ones and 3 tens equals how many tens? So I'm just going to do 43 times 3 using the distributive property. And I will break 43 into 40 and 3. So we'll have 40 times the 3 tens plus 3 times the 3 tens. So 40 times 3 is 120 plus 3 times 3 is 9 and that is equal to 129. So 43 times 3 is 129 and 43 ones times 3 tens is 129 tens. Now if we have tens, that's saying 129 tens, so 129 times 10. And that would mean that we just need to add one zero at the end because there's one zero in 10. So 43 times 30 would be 1,290. So 430 times 30, we already know 43 times 3 is 129 because we did it in part A. So 43 tens times 3 tens would be 129. And 10 times 10 is 100. So we have 129 hundreds. So our answer is going to be 129 and then 100. So I'm going to add two zeros. We get 12,900. All right, 83 times 20. Um, they did 83 times 2 and got 166 for us. So we just need to know what the tens times the tens is. So 10 times 10 is 100. So we get 166 hundreds, which 100 is 100 with two zeros. So we would have 166 Oops. So we would have 166. Oh, I did it again. Okay. 166 hundred. Two zeros. So it should be 16,600. And part D. 44, 4,400 times 400. So we'd have how many hundreds? We have 44 hundreds times 400 is 4 hundreds equals 176. So if we have 100 ti hundreds times 100, 100 times 100, that is 10,000. Notice 10,000 has four zeros. 100 times 100 has four zeros. So 10,000, so it's 176, 10 thousands. So I'm going to write 176 ten thousands. So one, two, three, four zeros. And we get 1,760,000. Alright, 80 times 5,000. So 80 is equal to 8 tens. 8 groups of 10 is 80 times 5 thousands equals 40. 8 times 5 is 40. That's where the 40 came from. 10 times 1,000 is equal to, we have four zeros, 10,000. So 40 ten thousands. And so we would have 40 ten thousands. So we're going to add four more zeros which ends up being 400,000. Okay, number two. Determine if these equations are true or false. Defend your answer using your knowledge of place value and the commutative, associative, and or distributive properties. All right, 35 hundreds. So that's like saying 35 times 100. 35 hundreds. So five tens, that would be 50 times seven tens, that would be 70. So 50 times 70 is 35. 5 times 7 is 35 with two zeros is 3,500. And 35 times 100 would be 35 with 
two zeros, so they are equal. That is true. 770 times 6 equals 77 times 6 times 100. So I see they both have a 6. So let's see if we can get this. Does 770 equal the 77 times 100? So 77 times 100 would equal 77 with two zeros. So it actually equals 7,700. If these were to be equal, then we would need then it would need to say 77 times 10. So the distributed property does not work out here. So this is false. 50 tens times 4 hundreds equals 40 tens and 5 hundreds. So 40 tens would be 400 times 500. 50 tens is 500 times 400 and 500 times 400 is equal to 400 times 500 and we know that because of the commutative property so whether it says they can change places when we are multiplying or we are adding so this is the commutative property of multiplication so this is true and d 24 times 10 times 90 equals 90 times 2400. So I see we both have, there's both 90s. So I'm going to get rid of the 90s and see if 24 times 10 equals 2400. So 24 times 10 equals 240. And 240 does not equal 2400. So this is false. Number three, find the products, show your thinking. The first row gives some ideas for showing your thinking. So they've already done part A for us. Part B, 80 times 5. So I'm going to break this up into 40 times 10. So what I did was 8 times 5, and I got 40. And then this 80, we have the 10 left over, so that's times 10. We get 400. In part B, we have the 80. So 8 times 10, I'm going to break that into 8 times 10, times 50 is equal to 5 times 10. Now, I'm going to use the commutative property of multiplication to shift these around and make it easier to multiply. So I'm going to put the 8 and the 5 together. So we have 8 times 5, times the 10 and the 10. Move those together. And now I'm going to multiply like this. So we have 8 times 5 is 40 times 10 times 10 is 100 and 40 times 100 is 4,000. I'm going to do similar for this next one. Let me change colors here. So we have 8 times 100 times 5 times 100. I'm going to move them around so I have 8 times 5 times 100 times 100. 8 times 5 is 40, times 100 times 100 is 10,000. And if I multiply those, we get 400,000. And this last one, we have 8,000, so that's 8 times 1,000, times 5 times 10, which is 50. So I'm going to shift them around. 8 times 5, times 1,000, times 10. 8 times 5 is 40, times 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. And we get 400,000 again. Alright, part C. Let's go green. 637 times 3. So I'm going to break it up into 600 times 3 plus 30 times 3 plus 7 times 3. 600 times 3 is equal to 1,800, plus 30 times 3 is 90, plus 7 times 3 is 21. And if I add all of these together, let's see, I'll add 90 plus 21, that's 111. So we have 1,800 plus 111. This is equal to 1,911. 
For the next part, I'm going to break this into 637 times 10 times 3 times 10. And we know, now I'm going to shift them around again, like we did before. So we have 637 times 3 times 10 times 10. We know 637 times 3 is 1,911 times 10 times 10 is 100. So we get 1,911. I'll add my two zeros and get rid of this comma. I did not need that there. we get 191,100. 6,370 times 300. So I'm going to break it into 637 times 10 times 3 times 100. And then we will have, if we rearrange them using the commutative property, 637 times 3 times 10 times 100. And we know 637 times 3 is 1,911 times 10 times 100 is 1,000. And if we multiply those together, we get, with three zeros, 1,911,000. And the last one, all the way over here, six, 63,700. So I'm going to make it 637 times 100 times 3 times 100 for 300. And I'll rearrange with the commutative property, 637 times 3 times 100 times 100. 637 times 3 is 1,911 times 100 times 100 is 10,000. And when we multiply those together, have four zeros, we get 19,110,000. Okay, a concrete stepping stone measures 20 square inches. What is the area of 30 such stones? So 1 is 20 square inches. It wants to know how many 30 of those. So we're going to multiply 20 times 30. And we can break this into 2 times 10 times 3 times 10. And if we rearrange them, we'll have 2 times 3 times 10 times 10, which will then be 6 times 100. And 6 times 100 is 600. Oops. Just 600 square inches. The number 42,300 when multiplied by 10. A number is 42,300 when multiplied by 10. So the answer is 42,300. So something multiplied by 10 equals 42,300. Now I know if I'm moving backwards, I'm divide. that means that I'm dividing by 10. So if I take this and divide by 10, 42,300 divided by 10, and we did this in module 1, the digits are going to shift to the left one place, and we'll get 4,230. So it wants to know what the product, find the product of this number, so this number being 4,230 and 500. So we need to do 4,230 times 500. So I'm going to break it into 423 times 10 times 5 times 100. And then we'll have 423 times 5 times 10 times 100. So we need to figure out what 423 times 5 is, which you did learn in fourth grade how to multiply by a single digit. So 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 1 is 21. So this is 2,115 times 10 times 100 is 
1,000, and that is equal to, with three zeros, so we get 2,115,000.